Hello, everyone. It's Raja. And Aquaria. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion, Fashion Photo, Photo Review. Review. <laughs> the caftan edition, which is really interesting because I think like a lot of people would assume that I wear a lot of caftans. Because I'm like airy and flowy. Yeah, I'm very caftan like. But you're not, you don't have many. No, I'm not a caftan. I like caftans, but I mostly like kimonos. That's I a very love vintage, ah. exquisite, older, like vintage kimonos. That's like my thing. I wear them around the house. That's what I drink tea in and coffee and tea jack and coffee. off and uh, poo. Do you poo in a kimono? Of course, who doesn't poo in a kimono? Pumono. <laughs> ah. And guess what, Aquaria? It is springtime. It's ah. gorgeous time. Ah. It is time for us to open some bubbly. Yes, ma'am. Segura Viuda. It's been a minute since oh, I've oh. Segura viuda myself. Oh. Cover your head. Cover your head. Sorry. <laughs> Segura viuda. First to the stage, we have Silky Nutmeg Gnarsh. Yes, and I do love the tangerine color on her. I do, and I love the bubble sculpture on her head. It's very tall, very large, and if you do something big on your head, it needs to be really big, so it right. resembles more like Raj's butt plugs instead of just like a little caterpillar. Mm. So this is perfectly doing that, I think. This is one of the things that I really loved with Silky. I think this outfit suits her, not just because it's just mm -hmm. a sheath, but I just think it it just looks great on her. It's very pretty. It looks great. It doesn't look forced. Uh, the color, the peachy, orangey color, like apricot. really goes apricot. Dried apricot. You know, it's warm and it looks great on her and you can still see some of her silhouette, her silky she's, silhouette Yeah, beneath. she's got the the dress underneath, you know, that obviously For matches sure. too. So it's For not sure. Like but sometimes I think that just because you're a big girl doesn't mean you have to force yourself into these outfits that perhaps could make you look sausagey. Yeah, and this is really great for her. Um, this mm -hmm. picture is gorgeous. It really Love is. Love the really orange blush. She really went in on the Miss Mandarin for this episode, and I'm oh, enjoying this. For sure. Um, it's a, it's a great You like this drink. I love that drink. Yeah. That drink. Um, I give Silky Nutmeg Ganache a two. It's a bubbly two to me, too. Mm -hmm. To the stage, we have Evie Oddly. I am living La Vida Oddly. Like, I love this. I love I love it. Frayed knit. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very cool. I love anything that's raggedy right. like that. Um, I love the off-the-shoulder. It's like the punk version of uh, like a the Beyonce yellow oh, um, lemonade. lemonade moment. Yeah. For that love, the huge, 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 way oversized necklaces. Right. Those are really cool. Not the biggest fan of the shoes, but I like that she did the strappy sandal very outside on the beach. I am one of those queens who really loves fashion and drag to have a very organic feel, non-contrived, something that you can just kind of pull together but still make it look cool and make everyone say like, I want to wear that. Yeah. Where did you get that? It may be one of my top toots of the week. Just yeah. Just because I'm that girl. I really like fashion to be accessible and cool. Mm -hmm. Next we have Akaria C. Davenport. I'm gonna This write. looks like Asia's dead butterfly. Oh. The hair is a little too ashy for me. It's like, it's. It, I need like a little more like colorful. It's. It just reads very gray. Mm -hmm. I hate the black, like. I don't I'm at the, love it. I'm at a choir concert bodysuit underneath. <laughs> and. Oh my God, we're reading really so ugly. hard. But you know what this is actually for me? I don't know what your news feed on Facebook looks like, but occasionally I get these weird advertisements for like festival clothing. Mm -hmm. And they're like, ooh, wear this little fringed uh, thing. And then they always have like a butterfly wing. And that's what that is. It is yeah. obviously that. And it doesn't well, have it's, any- It's not really a caftan. It's just a bat wing. Oh. Leotard, or uh, katsu. Mary, you we know what see I mean? what you did. Like, it's, right? I mean, yeah. I don't know what the, the, the definitions I'm, of the caftanery needs to be, but- No, a caftan should be flowing. It should be something that kind of covers the just, body. These are just droopy bat wing sleeves. On a cat, on a cat yeah. suit. But the earring is so pretty. That's a nice oh, selection of right. stones. <laughs> this needed more effort, and I'm gonna give this a boot. Oh, I'm sorry, Mary. Over it. Sorry, sis. Next, we have Vanessa Vanji Mateo. I don't like this. This is kind of boring. This is kind of a uh, 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 hair cutting smock. Mare. With the matching. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's you know what it is. It is that. It's the, it's the smock. It really is. Smock a con. Is she getting a haircut or is she giving a haircut? I can't. Both. Oh. She, well, no. I, I, yeah. If I was given a caftan challenge, I would have like giant caftan with sticks and live parrots and uh, you know caftan. I wouldn't what have worn is, this. This is, this is really like sleeping gown. This is like not even Trader Joe's. This, this is, is like, like sleeping while she was packing, getting ready for drag race. I'm not into this. Sorry, Vanjie. Yeah. It's a no. Move. Come on. And I don't even like, like the like accessories. I get what you're doing, but I just. No. And no, no, no. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. It's not hideous, but what would Raven say? Hmm. Two. Oh, right. What would Raven say? Next we have Brooklyn Heights. Yeah, it's looking like one of the uh, the muses from Disney Hercules. Oh, totally. But like blonde and white. Yeah, I, very. I'm no, it's give, it gives us Grecian. And I know this is really simple. And I know that a lot of the queens have like gone for these like what they think allegedly is elaborate. But I like the simplicity of this. Oh yeah. Oh, and the underneath, she's wearing the you know a little. Armory Goldie type of moment. Thing, yeah. I love the drapey and the, uh -huh. and the solid. Um, I think it's very pretty. Love this dark, you know, plum lip on her. I love the hair. And I hate the shoes. These are the same <laughs> shoes. You know what I saw in a picture? Uh, her Pisces runway. She was wearing these same hideous shoes underneath. What is it? Why would you wear that? Is it because she's a dancer and they were like dancer shoes? I don't think that's what dancers wear, but it might, but I don't You're know. You're a dancer. I don't wear them. I think this would've been cool with like a gold little metallic pump. That would be cute. But besides that, I think this is very tasteful, not overdone. I like it. And like it was probably color. very like much hair. in budget, so good for her yeah, for being smart. Totally. Next we have Sugar Cane. And the Aww. ugliest thing I've seen since probably last episode. It is dreadful, isn't it? Oh no! Is it supposed to be funny? Why would you <laughs> wear any of those? It options? is all dreadful. It is all dreadful, and it is a boot. It's a triple boot. Yeah. Isn't it? it was really bad. All right, wow. next we have Nina West. Grandma West. In the ugliest fabric too, and the That's my hair. problem with it, because the, the actual- That is a little girl fabric. That's, yeah, that's, that's my no problem. Book. That's, that's the, con the construction of it, the actual caftan is actually quite beautiful and could have a lot of potential. Yeah, it's it not- and it, it needs mixed colors, it needs different textures, but it does feel very Joann's. You know, and that fabric could be so much no. more elevated, especially being on season 11. And this is what I keep saying over and over and over again. So um, for me, I'm, uh, what do you say? Big old boot, why would you? She always gives me- <laughs> But um, look at the makeup and hair. I do like the makeup and hair. Do you hate that? No, the makeup is, I hate this smoky eye with the like, this lip, I can't. And I think I'm gonna need a refill. Hold on, tilt your glass. Thank you so much, yeah. As um, most sophisticated ladies know, if you're being poured your wine, tilt your glass. And if your enemy's pouring it, tilt it a little harder. Or shove it up their ass. Oh, very that. Cheers, Raven. Cheers. Sorry you had to witness all that. To all my homies. And up in the sky. by the way, while you're there, what do you think of Nina West? Oh yeah, tell us. Toot. Trend alert! I'm talking. I'm tucked. Just letting it out. Letting that freak flag fly and you're feeling a dingy. I'm free. Drag on the floor. Free balling. Free balling. Yeah. Our, Our top, top two, two of the week, week is Evie Oddly. Evie Oddly. We love this. Yeah. Simplicity. Different Lemonade. For her. Lemonade. Lemonade. Woo woo. Tune in Thursdays to VH1 and check out RuPaul's Drag Race Season 11. Make sure you check the link below to see if Season 11 is available on Robertson's Plus in your country. Oh my <gasps> sh. Free balling.